Okay guys, so before we go on to talk about uh, the stretches and everything I've been doing to help treat uh, my plantar fasciitis, uh, just thought I would talk a little bit about the insoles and which ones I thought were good, which ones I thought were not. So uh, this was actually the first pair of insoles I bought. I've only bought two. I did look at other ones, but these are the first ones I got. And probably the same as most people, uh, I just went to get Dr. Scholl's ones. Um, these ones were their plantar fasciitis inserts, and you get them in um, any sort of drugstore here, I guess. Um, you can find them in lots of places. And they're a pretty generic insert. However, uh, it was the only thing that was really sort of available at the time. So I bought them and uh, they worked. I thought the first couple of days I thought I had some relief, but then I was really finding a lot of pain um, in my arch here, uh, especially after a few hours on my feet and then just continued to have that day after day. Um, you know, I was told that it's going to hurt a little bit when you have these in there. You know, your, your fascia does want to bend um, past this point, but obviously it's the insert doesn't let it do that. So it is going to be sort of pushing down on, on this raised bit here. And that will c cause some discomfort. Um, however, I was convinced uh, it really wasn't the right sort of fit for me. And that was is the main sort of downside of the Dr. Scholl's ones. Uh, you can cut what size your foot is out of here so you can fit it into your shoe. Uh, however, you know, this part here is not necessarily going to be contoured properly for your foot. Uh, you can see uh, these parts here in both of the um, both of the inserts. So this is actually when I went to the uh, chiropodist. Um, we made the decision to actually raise this part here. So a little cheap fix without buying some more expensive inserts was she just added this kind of fluffy foam in there, which built up uh, the arch a little bit and it did fit my foot a tad better. However, after a while, again, still felt like it was pushing in the wrong place. I ended up taking this one out um, on her advice and, and my thoughts. So um, I would say don't go and buy a pair of these. There are some much better options. Um, and one of them is one that I ended up going for, which is these ones here. So these are Curex Sol, and I got them from a running store here in Canada. So I'm not sure worldwide what's available, but uh, whether these are available worldwide, but uh, you're going to find a similar thing in, in, in most running stores. Uh, it was a toss up for me between these and another brand called Superfeet. Uh, the Superfeet ones. Um, were really good, actually uh, seemed really good quality for the price. They were a little bit cheaper than these. These come in at about 50 bucks. Um, the super feet for me though were just too narrow. If you have a narrow foot, uh, the super feet may be really good for you. Uh, it's, uh, as I say, it is narrow, but the bottom is really super sturdy. Uh, this does have a, a nice sturdy um, back and mid, mid foot to it. The super fit feet even more so though. So Superfeet seemed really good, probably the best uh, budget one I would have said, however it wasn't going to fit for me. So the great thing about uh, going to a running store to buy your insoles is a lot of the time they have um, uh, a little machine there that you can basically step on and it's like a heat sensor machine. Uh, you step on there for a few seconds, when you step off it shows uh, an imprint of where your foot's been and from that they can tell exactly what kind of um, insole you need uh, so they'll be looking at um, you know how hard it needs to be exactly how high the arch support needs to be and I tried on maybe four or five different ones and ended up going with these and they felt really really good um, actually after I'd put these on I was kind of kicking myself really for going with the Dr. Scholl's in the first place so these ones are going to have a, what you're looking for in an insert, sorry, is really so you have a, a good cup around the heel because you're trying to stop a lot of motion there, which both of these do have. This one's just a little bit more sturdy. Uh, you do want some cushioning as well just to take a bit of the uh, impact as you step. And you want to have, as you can see here, uh, a, a, a sort of a hard piece, some run all the way to the back that just stops the bend of the foot in the middle. 
Um, on the Curex here, I can't bend that at all. Whereas, you know, with the with the uh, Dr. Scholl's, I mean, it's super flexible. So not the best thing in the world. So these are really good for me. Uh, I would recommend 100% you, that you go into uh, any running store, any good running store that's going to have uh, these insoles and try them on, see how they feel. He wants to really feel like it is contouring your foot and you're going to notice a huge, huge difference. Um, if you're not sure how uh, to insert them, it's pretty simple, but uh, take your shoe. If your shoe has a fixed insert, uh, what I mean by that is that your insert does not come out and uh, you can trim and put your insert on top but you're going to have less volume inside your shoe it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable to, to walk on so this is what a normal insert looks like if you take it out absolutely nothing there that's going to help me out in this situation just take that out trim uh, the end to fit your shoe uh, usually it has a size guide on it and you just trim it off uh, I find that Usually I'll trim off the size and then I have to go a little bit shorter to fit it in. I trim that off, slot it in, put your hand all the way in, just make sure that it's fitting nicely and then that's going to be your new insole. So one last great thing about the Curex and possibly the Super Feet, but uh, uh, I know for sure the Curex is that you can not only walk in these but they do say uh, you can run in them, do triathlon in them, I mean, you can do any sort of activity in them, as I guess is what they're trying to say. So, I don't think I'm going to do that, because I do want to go back to the, the more minimalist um, style of, of running and, and walking. Um, but just so you know, uh, the option's there if you want to continue to use them. They're probably going to last, uh, these ones, about one to two years, uh, depending on how often you use them but you should get at least a year out of them. So for 50 bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, next video, let's go and talk about uh, stretches and how we're gonna get rid of that plantar fasciitis.